Hey there, and welcome back to the Tom Rosa. Uh, we've been busy. I'm so tired. I'm tired too. What have you been doing? Uh, dealing with the heat mostly. So we did have the big heat wave, and that thankfully has passed. Um, the cows did pretty well through that, uh, but it was a lot of work on our part as well. So. Um, the, the, the babies, the, the young, especially the youngest, struggled the most, but um, we had fans set up and we had a mister, and the babies, we were going out during the very hottest days, pretty much every hour or two hours, and uh, soaking them down so, with water. So I think it definitely helped. Um, a funny thing about that is because we named them after flowers, so Stacy and I would just be like, we're going to go water the flowers. We just alternated. Yeah, so, you know, it was a lot of work having to go out to the barn all day and do that. But I think it really helped, and uh, uh, we'd hose the cows down, too. And luckily, with the, the hottest weather, there, there, for the most part, was a good breeze the whole time, so that really helped. Um, the cows continued to eat uh, because we're pretty much done with pastures. We've been feeding a lot of hay, and uh, their milk production actually stayed up. And part of that is probably the calves nursed less during that heat wave. I mean, we'd see them nursing at night and stuff, but they really wouldn't eat during the day at all. And so uh, I think the cows probably did produce less, but we ended up having about the same amount in the tank. And we also had a fire that was across uh, the little valley from where we live, right behind our farm. Yeah, so um, actually there's a thunderstorm that rolled through, and... Uh, I, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I just set up a camera on the front porch and we got a lightning strike perfectly centered in the frame right off our front porch. And because the camera was just sitting on the front porch, you actually see the, the camera shake uh, when the shock wave and the thunder hits it. Um, but unfortunately, it did ignite a, another lightning strike. It uh, did ignite a fire off our back porch basically. So so the, the lightning strike that we got a video of did not light a fire and we watched that spot for several days afterwards uh, just to make sure that that tree didn't uh, ignite. But um, unfortunately I did get a tree behind us to the east of us and um, yeah, they were able to uh, put it out fairly quickly. I mean they had it contained within a day and then they patrolled it for quite a while afterwards. It was in the National Forest land, so it was outside of the jurisdiction of our volunteer fire department, so we weren't involved in it, uh, but they were able to get it out pretty quick. And we are in fire season. There's been a couple different fires uh, around us, and so it is something that we're keeping an eye on, and it's very dry out here. We normally are dry, you know, by July or August, but this year has been a historic drought, and our uh, soil moisture is down to 4%, which it's normally not until about September, if ever. And we had about a third the amount of grazing and a third the amount of hay production. So we'll have a video later on our hay season, but uh, we are going to have to buy uh, hay for the winter that we had not anticipated. And it's going to be expensive because everybody's going to be buying hay <laughs> for not even just the winter, just to get through the rest of summer. So we've had a lot of doom and gloom so far in this video. Fires and heat wave and buying hay. So what are some good things that are going on? Well, the cows are doing great. Yeah, the cows are doing good. Um, and they do funny things. Like, I forgot having young calves. They just do silly things. And, you know, we just get funny little bits of video of them doing stuff all the time. And you just have to shake your head sometime and be like, really? What are you doing? Ooh, I forgot another Ooh, thing. She forgot something else. <laughs> another thing that we've started to do is go into uh, making cheese. That is something we had thought about doing, and so we branched out and we started making uh, cheese. And our first one that we attempted was feta. Oh, we didn't attempt. We did it. We did it. And so I sold some of that at the farmer's market, and now we're going to move forward and try some other things. So that's super exciting to have a new venture that other people are really supportive of and it's something we can make and then sell during the period that the cows are dry and so that will help us out a lot. Yeah, we, uh, 
I like Gouda cheese, and we're excited about Gouda. We bought some special Gouda molds, mm -hmm. so that's pretty exciting. So we're pretty happy about that. So over the next month, we're going to post some more videos. We're going to work a little bit harder on that and uh, share some of the things going on on our farm. Uh, new things this year, so it'll be fun to share with you. For reals. As you can tell, the heat of death has definitely affected us. We had timed it down to like when does the sun go behind the mountain, which was about 7.50 or 7.49 every night. And uh, that's when we would go out and do chores and do everything. So, But it usually back up a, a minute or two every day too. Yeah. So. so, but. Days are getting shorter. <sighs> so we hope that you're doing well where you are. We hope that uh, you are having a, a good farming year. And if you're not a farmer, we hope that you're having a good year elsewise. Seems like a lot of the other dairy farmer friends I have are experiencing extremely wet weather right now. I know. So feel free to send it our way. Feast or famine, right? Yeah. It'll be better next year. It will be better next year. So thanks for uh, coming along. And we'll see you next time on the Tomarosa.